Venezuela was another Latin American country that was important during the Carter presidency. Venezuela is one of the world's major oil producers and exporters, and in fact was one of the founding members of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, established in 1960. Therefore, the policies of Venezuela had a big impact on world oil markets. On March 28, 1978, Jimmy Carter, Rosalind Carter, and their daughter Amy, along with a big American delegation, landed in Air Force One at Simon Bolivar International Airport in Caracas. It was the kickoff of a state visit to Venezuela. That night, the Carters were hosted by President Carlos Andres Perez at a state dinner. After they dined, they enjoyed music provided by Venezuelan musicians. On state visits like this, there are many ceremonial and social occasions, but you can be sure that they also talked about oil, something that was crucial for both countries. After the Carter visit, the world oil market was greatly disrupted by first a revolution in Iran and then the outbreak of war between Iran and Iraq, leaving the world short of vital oil supplies. This made Venezuela even more important in world affairs. During this crisis, Venezuela did raise production a bit, which made things less worse than they would have been otherwise. On the other hand, Venezuela did take advantage of the situation to get much higher prices for its oil. The boom in oil prices was great for the Venezuelan economy, but it was a big problem for the United States and the world as these prices led to higher and higher inflation. After the Carters left the White House, they worked on monitoring elections at the Carter Center, which kept them involved in developments in Venezuela. Venezuela has been plagued by deep divisions among its own people and has had some hotly tested elections. The Carter Center has helped monitor these elections and avoid the outbreak of civil war.